Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Donna Hedrick was just 15 when she was raped by her choir teacher. He told me, don't tell anybody because nobody will believe you. Years later, she and other victims of the same man came forward and even got a confession. But it was too late to press charges. This is very, very common. These children are traumatized by this. The statute of limitations for such crimes varied widely depending on the age of the victim and the aggressor. It was very confusing, um, and I think that that is primarily what we needed to fix most of all. Hedrick wanted to ensure the same thing would never happen to another child. She spent three years advocating for change and telling her story to lawmakers. The bill is to protect our children who are sexually molested and raped. It helps those children, children like me, who weren't able to deal with their abuse in a mature manner to do so as an adult. The hard work paid off. As of July 1st, Donna's law removes the statute of limitations for victims of sexual battery under the age of 18 so they can press charges against their aggressors whenever they're ready. The law isn't retroactive, so it won't apply in Donna's case, but she says it's about helping future victims. That is the message to the offender, that that child is going to always have the right to come after them. The new law doesn't affect due process. Accusations will still need to be backed by evidence, but it will at least provide some hope for future victims. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.